see what's going to happen right there. Two crashes. Two crashes at the same time. Rutherford involved. Strip Weathers involved. <laughs> Hey guys, this is Mike Jones, and we're back with the eighth race of the Piston Cup Series in 2005, and we are at the Alabama 499. And here's your qualifying. Wipeout qualifies first with Lightning McQueen on the outside, Flywheel Rutherford, who happens to be a good plate racer apparently because he won at Daytona, even though he's back in 19th in points. Chick Higgs, Molly V. Hill, Racing Tyler, Weathers, Axler, and D. Agostino are going to round out your top 10. So that's going to be very good for them as uh, we're about to get the announcement. Drivers, start your engines! And as the drivers are starting their engines, we can look at the practice resu results. <laughs> Johnny Clean Air was your fastest in practice, so he's one to watch for sure. Mulvey Hill Racing Tire and Lightning McQueen up there with Candyman. We go back to Happy Hour. Mulvey Hill up there again with Rebkins, Johnny Clean Air again, Lightning McQueen, and Marcus. So I have a feeling that today's winner is either going to be Clean Air or Lightning McQueen as they have been up there everywhere, except for I have no idea where Clean Air qualified. He did not qualify very good, but he was fast in practice, so that's what matters. As you go all the way down, we got Oaks back in last. And yeah, it's not very good. Kerber made it up to fifth in points. Did not qualify very good. And then you got Corn Fuel. Yeah, it's always in back. Anyways, we're about to go green flag racing. 38 laps here. As they are going 70 mile per hour pace speed. It's going to be a good one, guys. Let's get ready for it. Let's get right into it. Is everybody going to? Yes, everybody's going. So nobody had any issues at the start. Green flag is out. Wipeout is now going to take the lead. And they're already three wide. That was extremely fast. <laughs> it's weird to see Flywheel up here, but it is... Uh, super speedway, so it's not as hard to qualify up there. But I think practice and uh, happy hour are actually going to show you the speed because that shows you drafting speed, not one single car. Are they four wide already? No, they are three wide back there. You got Dill Jr. all the way back there, but he's a complete racer, so he might make his way up here soon. Oh my gosh, Rutherford got bumped to the top, and he's getting freight train now. I can't believe they're already three wide. These guys are amazing. And it looks like Flywheel is going to lead the first lap. Flywheel is going to lead the first lap, and they might be four wide, actually. I think they are. They are four wide back there. Whoops. Let's take a look at helicopter mode. Ooh, look how close they got back there. Still four wide, as you see Blammer mixed in it. You rode her on the outside. Now there's two groups of four wide. Oh, man. They're going to crash already. This is too early to crash. Hill took the lead, but I'm just skipping. See what's gonna happen right there. Two crashes. Two crashes at the same time. Rutherford involved. Strip Weathers involved. Oh my goodness, Kabruski's involved. Oh my goodness, Kabruski's probably dead. That was Flywheel, the guy who led the first lap. I don't even know who's gonna lead this lap coming in the caution. It's Mulvey Hill. Mulvey Hill is your leader along with Carlo. Axler, Petrowski, and Misty Motor Process. Wow, that took out some good drivers already. Lightning made it through, it looks like, which Hughes, who I think is going to win this race. Or Clean Air is probably my dark horse pick, but he ain't doing too well. Just because of how good he was in practice. But that sucks. I doubt there is going to be pit stops. But I guess we'll wait and see if anyone decides to pay. Obviously, Kabruski and Flywheel are in the pits after that heavy, heavy contact. Kabruski has gotten out, and he's okay. So that's good news. Blammer 
must have been involved pretty badly. I guess Cleaner probably was involved. Yes, he was actually. <laughs> All these guys involved as wreck. Even Chick Hicks? Wow, I don't remember him getting in there. I guess he was. That's not good. Now we'll get to see if there's any pit stops. They only did like three laps. I do not think tires are going to be that important. And no, they are not that important as nobody is going to pit, it looks like. At least nobody important. So we'll go take a look at the caution. All right, we're going to take a look at the wreck in the front first as they were four wide. Petrowski gets sandwiched by Flywheel and Candyman. Flywheel gets the worst of that. Rutherford gets in the wall. Oh, man. And all this goodness is happening. Oh, man, goodness. And that's where Kabruski got messed up. And now we'll go take a look at the second car. The next one, Blammer looks like he takes out Gearson into Augustino. Blammer gets the worst out of it. Gearson and Augustino keep going. Oh, no, they don't. <laughs> Gearson gets taken out. Oh, Clean Air was involved. That's not good news. It looks like after the most damage were just these two, though. Blammer even got good. But Blammer is usually not that good anyway. We'll go to the green flag. All right, we are going green this time by Kabruski is a lap down. Your leader is Moby Hill, and Flywheel has retired from the race. I guess he knew his car was going to be heavily damaged when he hit head on, but seeing how crazy these guys were, he should not have retired for points because he could have just sat in the back, been a back marker the rest of the race and still made it up on points, but I guess not. We're going green this time by Flo Flywheel, Moby Hill, jeez, I can't even speak English. Moby Hill, your leader, they're already three wide, remember Kabruski has heavy damage. And with that heavy damage, uh, Axler looks like he let off. He didn't want to go three wide this early, it looks like. And since they started single file, it's going to take a little longer for them to get crazy. But I'm sure it's going to happen. And we'll see the damage cars get feathered out even worse. As oh! Carlo blew up right in front of the pack. I, it took me a second to realize that. I hope they don't crash. Carlo trying to make it off the track. Nobody's wrecked yet. There's people. Oh my goodness. Carlo makes it to the bottom of the track. Is Rutherford going to make it back on the track though? How did that happen? Oh, Carlo was doing so good. He was in second. We never see him do good. Man, I feel bad for him. He's probably going to be out of the race. Hopefully they can fix it. But if they can, he's going to be a lot of fun. I just can't see him making it back up. Uh, Petrowski takes the lead, though. And Misty Motocross is going for it now. As they are actually single file a lot. <laughs> Motocross going for the lead. Clutchburn trying to get on their inside, but it ain't going to happen. We look through the pack. Chick made it back up to 17th, which isn't bad for him. I think we're going to see the points lead shrink, though, after this race. He got Weathers back up 33rd. That proves he has damage, and it looks like Racing Tire does, too. At least Gearson on back. Somebody smoking again. Another car blows up. Todd Marcus. What is up with the engines today? I got to look at the temperature real quick. It's only 68 degrees. That's actually pretty cool. And now we got two packs. Two packs. Everybody's still on the same pit strategy at the moment. He just stopped, but I think he's off the track, so I don't think a caution's going to come out, I hope. Yes, we're still going green, so that's good news. Motocross for leader. Two people explode engines within a lap of each other. I guess the goal is to see who's gonna finish the race, honestly. Lightning McQueen, did he lead that lap? Yes, he did. Lightning McQueen is now your leader. Die car behind him, giving him a push. And don't leave out Leadfoot, who is in the top five in points also. I think he's either fourth or fifth. Leadfoot might be catching up to those two leaders of uh, Weathers and Chick. 
same as Lightning, oops, as Lightning is uh, sixth in points. And they're now going three wide, but three wide isn't what hurt. They went three wide for a long time, and that was that was safe. It's four wide that was dangerous. As we go back and look at this pack, it's not much of a pack. Chick fell back all the way to 24. Scruggs looks like he having problems. We're still, yeah, we're still green. Scruggs must have a badly damaged car too, and Blammer's stuck. In and this pack of cars only has a few now. I would say 11 or so. I'm not gonna actually count. More than 10, it looks like. So that's why I said 11. <laughs> Kabruski is actually still up there. Imagine if he gets his lap back and comes back after flipping. That would be the ultimate comeback ever. I can't believe he can keep up with these guys. I thought he had enough damage not to keep up, but if he still can keep up, that's going to be crazy. I, it's going to be really hard for him to get his lap back, though. He's going to either have to be ahead of these guys, which I think is the hardest part, maybe play some smart hit strategy. Because Lightning looks like he's going to lead. Whoa! Kabruski went in a little bit aggressively, but that's what you expect when someone's trying to get their lap back. Man. Look at Kabruski. He went to the outside, though. That was a mistake. Looks like people can make it up to second, but they can't get by the leader of Lightning. Lightning is a little bit fast. Motocross is up there, though. And they are single file. Motocross goes for the lead. There we go. Oh, it looks like Kabruski's falling back again, so I don't know what's going to happen here. And she's going to take it back from him. That's another lead change, and more laps led to her name. And as you go back and look, yep, it is 11 cars. And holy cow, that outside line is so slow on that turn. They lost so many spots so fast. Icar's now trying to go for it. Wow, you do not want to be on the outside. I cannot believe how fast Lightning flew back. Ooh, Leadfoot trying to take second from Icar, and it looks like it's going to happen. Wipeout gets stuck on the outside. Of the th they're four wide. They're four wide. Kabruski, don't force it. Woo, that was a little scary. And Motocross still your leader. Clutchburn looks like he's going to try to take second away from Armstrong. And as all this nonsense is still going on, we'll go take a look at the other pack. Axler's leading that pack, and they are three wide in a couple groups. Looks like Chick and Leather's made it back up here, though. As Dale Jr. is trying to force him four wide, that would not be very smart. Smart move not forcing him four wide, and you got these two cars will probably be bad and it looks like Vanderspin blew an engine also in the 80 car and now Gerson's pitting is this pit strategy no he, he's having issues I think I'm not sure if this this is a stupid strategy if it is though because he has no drafting help and he's gonna come out right in front of these leaders I think nope they're gonna pass him so he will be a lap down that's good news on Kabruski because that means he's gonna pass him Unless he can get on the track before these leaders get there. Yep, he's not going to. And Candyman takes the lead now. We haven't been saying much about him besides uh, sandwiching Petrowski earlier. <laughs> Petrowski was in the, sand uh, the Candyman sandwich earlier, but made it out alive as Candyman just drops back tremendously. Mulvey Hill has been one to do very well so far today. And they are four wide. They are four wide, Kabruski backs out and gives them space. Kabruski knows, he's like, I'm a lap down and it's just gonna be too hard to get up there and hold it. Even Lightning McQueen can't do that. And he is strong. So he takes the lead again. 
as other cars at the tail end of the field are half a lap down. It looks like Clutchburn is now taking a pit stop. Clutchburn was up there. I don't know why he's pitting. He's taking right sides at least, and he's taking some time, so he must have some damage too. Something's up. Something wacky is going on today. Does not take that long to change tires. There must be debris on the track or something after that first wreck that's causing all these people to have issues. And cleaner still fast, 12th place. That pack. So that ain't bad for him. And Lightning McQueen's going to lead this lap, but it looks like Armstrong, who I believe is third in points, is going to try to, he might be able to take the points lead if he leads enough laps and wins this race, as we are actually almost halfway done. Close to the halfway point. Motocross still up there. Ingas has been up there too, but I don't think he's led a lap yet. I don't know if Ledfoot has either. Cornfuel is now leading this pack. And that pack of cars is how far back now? Eight second, eight and a half seconds from the winners. And probably going to grow a little bit more as he gets in the way and more pit stops. A lot of pit stops now. Did we have any pit stops before them? No, we did not. So more people are pitting. I want to look at the leaders to see when they pit, so we're going to keep an eye on them instead of the guys that actually took the pit stop because I think pit stops are going to happen soon. And like I said, we're about to hit halfway, so it looks like it's going to be a one-stop race. And if it is two and they keep going green, it might be a fuel mileage race. But I highly doubt that. That I don't think I've ever seen it in the Piston Cup Series. And they're four wide. I just said if it goes green all the way, now they're risking their lives. Ooh, Kapruski, don't be the cause of the caution. Lightning almost gets some fender damage. Ingas is going to pit by himself. Bad news for him. Unless everybody pits by themselves, that was not a good idea for Ingas to do that. And everybody that was in that other pack just went a lap down. <laughs> Misty Motocross, still your leader with Petrowski, Candyman. Wipeout and Lightning McQueen. Lightning McQueen trying to go for fourth place as Candyman goes for second. Who is going to pit this lap? I hope if Leadfoot does... I hope somebody goes with him because he's dropping back far off that draft. So I think he's going to pit. Everybody's getting a lot slower. So you could tell that tires are becoming a factor. And it looks like Mac Icar. Oh, a bunch of people. Lightning is the only car to stay out. Oh, my goodness. How many cars are going to pit from this other pack? Because those guys were lapped down. They will get their lap back when Lightning pits. And I'm not sure about those two. As I guess we'll just take a look at these guys. Scruggs was a lap down, I believe. So Mulvey Hill was first into this pit stop. I'm sure Lightning is going to pit this time by. Actually, not Mulvey. He wipe out. Has the, he qualified first, so he got the first pit stall. And that is Glamour, it looks like. Looks like right sides, right sides and fuel. Should have just did all four tires. Wipeout did not make it out very fast. There we go, there we go. Lightning McQueen is now pitting and I'm not even sure. Whoa, let's find Lightning. Weathers was behind him as the only other car not to pit yet, and there he is. So Lightning will be your leader so far. Almost a whole lap ahead of everybody, but he had to pit, so. It's good news though, because that means he's gonna be fresher tires at the end of the race than everybody by a couple laps and more fuel. And if they can make it on fuel, if he can make it on fuel and they can't, he might win the race. I doubt that. As crazy as they were driving earlier, I'm sure there's gonna be more cautions, so. I just can't see Lightning doing it by himself. So Lightning makes it out first, but he's not he didn't have any draft help that last lap, so I'm sure he's gonna lose the lead.
Misty Motocross. Look how fast she is. Look at her leading that race. She passes Lightning with ease. These guys in the back that are drafting together are going to catch the leaders fast, too. Though. How is she so fast? She must have had a different strategy is the only thing I can think of. And if that's the case, if she didn't take tires, that might hurt her in the long run. Yeah, it might hurt, but that helped her take the lead, I guess. <laughs> yep. Wolby okay. Hill's gonna try to get by Lightning for second as they almost go four wide. That would have been scary. And it looks like this pack is gonna go away from these two cars, Kabruski and Clutchburn. Wow, Clutchburn died when he pit early. He obviously has an issue. He was doing good. Candyman loses the draft, and we got, looks like, another pack here, and Wipeout stuck behind this one. Clean Air's in it, too, though. All these guys still have a chance if a caution comes out. We got Rutherford and Chick in this pack of four cars, and we got another pack of four cars. Junior and Apex. Weathers by himself all the way back there. Scruggs by himself. Blammer by himself. Then the lead cars all together. Blammer must be way back there. Blammer was drafting with Scruggs for a while. But I think Blammer's going to go an actual lap down soon. And those are the cars that are out of the race as Icar takes the lead. That guy car is still still and now at the same time. I hope you guys understand that. So yeah, if you guys are enjoying this race, please click the like button. That would really help. And subscribe for more. We are going to keep this going. I'm not sure what the track is after Talladega. I think it goes to a small... I think it might be Martin's. I'm not sure. So that would be a good race to see. Especially the freaking Piston Cup. That would be amazing. So don't quote me on this. But I think it's Martinsville, so if you don't want to miss Martinsville, short track crazy racing with these guys, please hit the subscribe button because I believe that's the next track. But even if it's not the next track, you will see Martinsville come up later. So, yeah. <laughs> and leave a comment right now who you think is going to win this race. And do you think it's going to be one of these guys from the top pack right now, or do you think a caution is going to come out? Now that they spread out, it's going to make caution more unlikely going to change it up as Leadfoot goes for the lead. And Lightning, I think, is going to try to force it three wide, and he does. He has no drafting help, but he does have that slingshot momentum, but it's not enough. And that's going to help Leadfoot take the lead. Leadfoot is your leader. And I believe Blammer is getting very close to going a lap down now. As he was 44 seconds off the pace that last lap. And now he is, what, 48 probably? 47. So he should get outlapped either at the end of this lap or the next lap sometime. And the lap car is getting in the way. Slow car is going to get in the way. That's going to really mess up people. It's going to slow down this front pack of Moby Hill taking the lead and help the other ones catch up. And I think there's, what, only like eight cars up here now? And they're still driving super aggressively. You'd think they'd conserve their self and just go single file. Everybody wants to lead those points, lead those laps, lead the most bonus points for leading most laps and all that good stuff. So that's what's happening. Ingas pit by himself and he's still in this pack. So I'm actually extremely surprised on that. Yeah, Blammer will not get out lap this lap, but it will be next lap. Mulvey Hill still your leader, and as I said, they went crazy. They got conservative for a second. I think they're just waiting for the runs to go we'll for another one. His I car looks like he might lose the draft. Got Homer up here leading this one. Bruski obviously has an issue. He's slowly slowing down. <laughs> Second away from the 
Kowalski. And McQueen is about to take the lead, so that's what we're going to do. Let's take a look at the helicopter mode. We haven't been there for a while. Wow, look at that. Inside of all those draft cars. Just knocking these guys back. And I didn't even notice that the ladder just went a lot down. So, yeah, that's what happens when you get into caution early on in the race. A track like this. And I think these pack of cars in the back might be catching these guys. Maybe that's why they went single file. If it is why, then... Oh my goodness, they're three wide <laughs> everywhere. Really getting aggressive back there now. That's very surprising. As crazy as they're going everywhere throughout the whole race, I'm surprised that everyone's still fine. Honestly, did not expect this race to go green this far. But who knows, maybe the end of the race. I didn't expect three people to blow, or four people, as Rutherford blew an engine too. I didn't notice that either. Rutherford, who won Daytona, blew his engine, so he's out of the race too. That is four blown engines, which we do kind of expect them at super speedways, but not four. I expect maybe one or two, but four, that's, that's a little drastic. Four blown engines today. People must have been trying their best to see if they could get a win because I think it's the easiest track to win is Talladega. Because even if you're not as good of a team as the others, you still have a chance. And this is proof right here with Misty Motocross in second. Motocross hasn't done anything good this season. She's up in second. So that's proof that if you're a smaller team, you have a chance. Or if you're less skilled, do you have a chance? I'm not saying anything on purpose. And Blammer's actually keeping up with this draft as Inges tried to cut off Petrowski, but didn't end up doing it. He ended up backing out at the last second, and Lightning is going to get stuck behind Scruggs and he's going to bunch up the field. No, he's not. But all these other guys on the outside are. And that's going to help Blammer pass Scruggs. Boom, we hit lap 30. This is less than 10 laps to go already. Light McQueen. I can't believe we've only had one caution. I, I think it's going to be down to one of these guys to win the race now. And out of these guys, I said Lightning probably will win earlier in the race. Mulvey Hills looked very strong too, though. I think he's been up there a lot more than all these other people. But I'm not quite sure. Scruggs, what the heck are you doing up there? That's a good question. I cannot believe what I am watching, bud. All right. Weathers, all the way back here. How far back is he? Ooh, he might go a lap down at the end of the race. Yeah, this, this is where these points leaders are going to fall way back in points. I just wonder if they can make it on fuel. Earlier in the race, that caution could have made it a one-stop pit stop race, but possibly people might not have enough fuel in their cars. And I'm not sure who pit first. I Yeah, I don't know who pit first. I think Ingas pit first out of all these guys. So if we see Ingas pit, we'll know that people are running out of fuel. Armstrong takes second away. Ooh, that was a little close. Motocross fits right in the middle there. Lightning is still your leader. Ooh, Leadfoot trying to force it three wide. And with Gearson in the pits, he was the first car to actually pit a real pit stop. That's proof that I don't think anybody has enough fuel to make it the rest of the race. This is a pit strategy race. If people go for it, they might run out of gas. I've never seen that in the Piston Cup Series before. That would be crazy. I don't think anyone's going to go for it, though, but maybe. We'll, we'll just have to see what happens now. So I don't think they got enough to make it all the way. Blammer is not taking the lead. He's trying to get his lap back. 
Motocross is going to follow him, though, and push him to take the lead. Glamour's back on the lead lap. And if a caution would come out right now, that would be a saving grace for him, but it ain't going to happen. So, Motocross is going to lead this lap with help from Petrowski. Would be crazy if they were catching up, which they are slightly. They were eight seconds back, now they're seven, but that's not enough time to catch up to the actual field. And the leaders of this pack still get a top ten in the race. And I don't know why I'm looking away because pit stops might happen, and I think they might. We'll just have to see. Not yet, at least. Motocross is your leader gonna lead this lap too. I think she might have led the most laps. Either her, Moby Hill, or Lightning McQueen led the most laps today, I think. And one of them is probably gonna be the winner. Be my guess. In fact, I think Lightning pit a whole lap later, so he has the biggest chance of making it on fuel. <laughs> but Moby Hill is gonna try to take the lead and make sure he leads the most laps. Wow. Anybody else blow an engine just because that always happens? Okay. Clutch burn went another lap down. That's about it. Oh, Glamour looks like he's pitting. And a couple other people. Nope, just Glamour and Scruggs. That slowed down the field tremendously. As weather's about to go a lap down. Four laps to go. Yep, four laps to go. Mulvey Hill. And that really slowed these guys up. They wanted to make sure they didn't crash. So now we got two packs for the lead. I don't think that we're going to have to worry about them falling back, though. Yikes. Weathers gets in the way for a second. And that's going to hurt Icar the most. Who's pitting? Someone's gonna pit, I'm sure. As they're about to hit three to go, I don't think they can make it on the gas. Nobody here, oh, nope, Lightning McQueen, no, Lightning McQueen's going for the lead, that's even better. Nobody's pit, in gas is pitting. And these guys caught up a lot. As racing tire Diagostino pit. Oh my goodness. <laughs> This is literally a fuel mileage race, because, oh my goodness, three laps to go. We got the three leaders up here. Weathers trying to hold on, trying to get his lap back, but it's not really that important because he ain't gonna do anything this race. Wow. And I knew Ingas had the problem when he pit earlier the first time. I thought it was gonna come back to bottom in the butt, and it did. So, for sure, he's not going to win this race. And Lightning McQueen stays out as my... Oh, everybody pits. Icar, Mulvey Hill. So many people. There's three cars left to win this race. If their fuel can take it. Two laps to go. Lightning McQueen is your leader. Look at the speed Leadfoot has. Chick Hicks is going a lap down. This is the last chance for them to pit this lap if they absolutely need a splash of fuel. Petrowski thought he had enough time to make a move. It's going to be very hard to pass. It is really hard to pass when you don't have any help. So the only way to take the lead is if the back two cars push against the front car, I believe. is the only way they have a chance. Who's pitting this lap? Everybody but Lightning. Lightning McQueen is the only car that has taken one pit stop this race. As we hit the white flag, sponsored by Hostile Takeover Pink. Does he have enough fuel to win the race? Is he already out of gas? I don't think he is. No, he is not out of gas. He's trying to save fuel. And I think he's got it in the bag fuel mileage style. 
he sh probably would have won it anyways. But this is just a dominating win when you win by a fuel mileage, by a whole lap. And yep, even if he runs out right here, he should still be able to win the race. So I believe Lightning... Oh, wait. The flag stand is on the front stretch. That's going to make it a little harder. But it looks like he has enough gas to make it. Lightning McQueen is going to win your Alabama 499 by a lap of gas. <laughs> I don't even know who's in second place. Lightning McQueen wins. And, yeah, I have no idea. Leadfoot is in second all the way back here, half a lap down. This is a dominating performance for Lightning McQueen to win like that, just based off pit strategy. Leadfoot Petrowski. He's already done and celebrating. These guys haven't even finished. Petrowski's going to try to take second away, though. Petrowski gets a help from Weathers to get second place. Leadfoot, third, fourth, Mac Icar, Motocross, fifth, sixth, Ingas, seventh, Armstrong, eighth, Mulvey Hill, ninth, Oil Changer, and Cornfield got a top ten. Wow, I am very surprised with that one. Lightning McQueen is your winner. As we take a look at your results, Lightning McQueen, Petrowski, Leadfoot, Icar, Motocross, Ingas, Armstrong, Mulvey Hill, Oil Changer, Corn Fuel. Lightning McQueen, Leadfoot, and Armstrong are going to be way up there in points as Chick back here in 22nd and Weathers 27th are going to fall way back. Bad day for Flywheel as he gets caught up in a wreck. And these four, all blue engines, headers, header, camshaft, piston, all parts of the engine, not blue. Clutch Burn had issues earlier and Kaburski was involved direct, Scruggs involved direct, Blimer involved direct, actually all these guys. And these guys may have been involved direct, may have just had bad pit strategy. But we'll go and look at the points. Before that, we gotta look like we always do to see who led the most laps. There was only one caution, four laps out of the 38 laps. 19 lead changes, only 9 drivers led a lap, which is very surprising on a super speedway. Lightning McQueen led the most laps of 15. Wow, I thought it was going to be closer than that. But nope, those last couple laps added up fast, I guess. Petrovsky led laps, led foot, everybody. Armstrong didn't lead a lap, and he was the only one up there in the whole front pack the whole time. And he didn't lead a lap. That's very surprising. Let's see what else we got. I think Flywheel might have led a lap. Yes, Flywheel led the first lap, so that's going to help him a tiny bit, not much. And Clutchburn led a lap earlier. Both of them had issues. Bad news for them doing that stuff. We'll take a look at the points. And now we look at the points. Chick Hicks is your leader still. 29 points ahead of Weathers. So he gained a little bit of points on Weathers. Leadfoot is still 107 points behind Chick. Lightning McQueen still 118 points. These guys were way behind, and they are slowly catching up. Wow, I can't believe he had that big of a lead. Still, there's one, two going at it. Armstrong is still in fifth. Kerber and Lightning McQueen basically swapped. And Petrowski's been up there. Augustino's been up there. Okay, okay. Cool. Yeah, this has been very well to all these guys. Lightning McQueen had a DNF, and I think that's what hurt him earlier. He has less top fives than all these, or top tens than all these guys. So, yeah, that kind of hurt him. It looks like Petrowski's had five top tens, but I don't know. As we look through it, Marcus, after blowing an engine, is now last place in points. Scruggs passed him. <laughs> wow. Scruggs is 16 points ahead of Marcus and only three points behind Flywheel, which... Corn Fuel might have been way back there and passed a few cars as he got his first top 10 like ever. <laughs> wow. Blammer. Even though he's qualified a pole this year, has nothing to show for it. At all, except for, yeah, nothing. He's mediocre as you could be. He's the mediocrest. Kaburski, after getting involved that wreck, did not help him. Revkins. 
not much to say. Junior, I cannot believe he's back there in point. Wow. Carlo blew up. Clutchburn had issues. Rutherford blew up. Vanderspin up here blew up. Vanderspin. 19. These guys still all really close within each other. Fairly, at least to get into the top 10 from 20th. What, 306? Yeah, they're all within 100 points to like the top 5 almost. So, or 8th. But anyway, Lightning McQueen has now won two races. So he is not very consistent, but he is very good at finishing at least. So that's good news on Lightning McQueen. Next is Virginia 500. I told you we were going here. 100 laps. That is going to be a crazy one because the only way to pass at this track is to knock the guy in front of you out of the way. So... There's going to be some angry people at the end of this. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to get notified when Virginia comes out at Martinsville. And please click the like button if you enjoyed so that I know you guys are enjoying this. And leave comments for any suggestions or anything if you want to say something comment. <laughs> I don't know. If you don't want to like the video comment, at least do one or the other or both just to help out the channel so we could get bigger so that I could do even more. Anyway, I will see you guys later.